These thriving coral reefs along the Makassar Strait in Indonesia were once nothing more than debris. Poachers were using illegal practices like bomb fishing and reef poisoning to increase their catch. We needed to live and survive, but the chances of getting a decent job is difficult, and the only job we knew of was that. But now, poachers are conserving those same corals with the help of scientists Yafuddin Yusuf, who has spent two decades fighting to save the reefs. While some fishermen were initially concerned it would impact their livelihoods, caring for coral reefs has actually improved their welfare. We thought that he would actually destroy the corals and our lives, but he was the one who educated us that corals are essential for fish life, and of course we as fishermen are dependent on the fish population. By empowering the community, by involving all of them in the process and with the knowledge and understanding they get from us, they can convey this to other members of the community. Local research found that in 2009, only 2% 2 of the reefs in these waters were in good condition. But local efforts have restored two hectares of the destroyed reef by installing structures known as the spider module frame. Pieces of coral attached to these frames, stabilising the damaged reef and encouraging more coral to grow. The Coral Triangle, yang... the coral triangle of Indonesia, the Philippines and the Indo-Pacific essentially must be preserved so that the world heritage that is in the water or in the ocean can be maintained for our future generations. I think this is a small effort that can influence the world to preserve coral reefs in the future. According to Greenpeace, the waters of Indonesia account for 18% of the total area of the world's coral reefs. Yusuf is now taking his mission of coral rehabilitation to neighbouring islands, but says there is still a long way to go. Mieta Adams, ABC News.